in 2011, a major revelatory shift took place. Into my living room walked these YWAM wild men, and they begin to prophesy there's coming a shift to the call, and it will not just be fasting and prayer, but the proclamation of the gospel. Signs and wonders and stadiums will be filled, and Billy Graham's mantle's coming on the nation. And then they said, the call is gonna lead to the send. And it struck me, maybe the call is a forerunner for a new Jesus movement coming. It put me in shock and I knew it had a time period to look to the place and time when Billy Graham would die. At that moment, a massive shift's coming and it will not just be John the Baptist, it will be Jesus the Evangelist is going to fill stadiums in America. From that moment on, a dream exploded in my spirit that if I saw stadiums filled with young people fasting and praying, why wouldn't I believe that I would see stadiums filled with massive evangelism, signs and wonders and miracles and hundreds of thousands of people being saved in America. If I saw the first fulfillment, why couldn't I believe for the second fulfillment? And so what we see is that there are these moments in history where the power of God is present to do something extraordinary. There's an opportunity. There is an open door. And what happens is, is that if that generation will step through that open door by faith and take action, they can literally see history changed. And I'm praying that a few people, man, even if it's one, that somebody's going to be like, look, I'm going to pay whatever price I have to pay to get a breakthrough in the glory of God, to get a breakthrough for a whole nation. So we are calling for 60,000 believers to gather from the nation and the nations of the earth to believe that the send would be a catalytic gathering to a new era of global missions and evangelism across America. We believe this day something will transfer and bring us into, I believe, worldwide transition into the greatest Jesus movement we have ever seen.